One of the drain pipes below one of my bathroom sinks was leaking and it was the part where the pipe goes into the wall. That part was leaking. So it was suggested that I replace the pieces. And of course I was told it's easy. <laughs> Let's just see how easy it is to do it by yourself. First, to loosen this, I tried it before um, turning on the camera, and it was so tight that I couldn't move it with my hands, so um, I had to get out my big grippers, these, let me see if the camera's good, my big grippers, and loosen a bit, and then I could do it. I think the former owner, when he put this in, he put some goopy stuff in here. There's something in there. Jeez. Didn't he? Spray some, put some goop in here or something? Anyway, and the, this one too, it's so tight on there that there's no way. I'm gonna put this bucket, sorry. <laughs> uh, there's no way I can get it. And then I have um, the bathroom cabinet has a piece of wood between the two doors, which don't buy that kind. Get, get a kind of cabinet where the two doors meet. So this is not easy, ladies. And there should be water coming out of here, so you have to have a bucket. All right, because this piece, what did he do here? It looks like he, there's like a thingy. Okay, there we go. Um, be kind of, but you want water in here all the time, I've learned, because having water sitting in here in between you and the sink keeps the um, sewer gases where they belong. All right, and since I don't think I was sold the correct P-trap kit, which was a kit like this, I emptied it already, that I got at Ace Hardware. Um, it can be one and a half at one end and one and a half at the other, or there's a thing that can turn one of the ends into one and a quarter, but I think I need one and a quarter in both. And um, so I don't think I have the right thing. And this is the part I'm afraid to open because this is where I'm having the leaks out of here. So that's the scary part. And that's really tight too. Surprise, surprise. But... So I have to get in here, <laughs> and don't any of you men say it's easy. It's not easy, even if you're small, to get your body in here. Oh, there, it just moved a little bit. And this sink is used least out of all the sinks in the house, so that's really interesting. This one is going icky. Uh, let's see, maybe it's loose enough by now. Oh gosh, it's really tight. I just don't have strong hands. Uh, you know what, I think we can put some goop in here too. I just think that's what he did. And this is the part that's really bad, but apparently buying a whole new kit is a better idea. So, here's the thing. When I pull this out, it's very long, and um, oh, longer than it seems like it would be, and it doesn't want <laughs> doesn't want to come out. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, see, he put some goop in here. Um, see, and this is what they sold me. So they're not the same size. So this one's one and a quarter and this one's one and a half. And that's what I need. I need the smaller one because the big one isn't going to fit there. So, anywho. Yep, that's what I got. So, oh, Lord. 
so I think I'm going back to the store. Okay, so back from the store again. Now I have the P-trap, the one quarter inch set. I need it before anyway, and an extension tube. So let's see what I'm going to do with these. So I'm actually going to clean this. I got some paper towel and dampened it. I'm just concerned that the replacement part for this is too long, and I don't have anything to. Um, I don't have anything to shorten it. So this is the old one, and this is the new one. So he cut off the former owner a couple inches. Okay, so one of them, one of these has to go on this way. I just want to make sure this thing is gonna fit. And then the other one will go this way. So um, this way, upside down. No, it goes pretty far. Okay, but it only goes that far. So, that's interesting. Hmm, the old one was here, right? And it was like this. And the new one, like this. And I'm going to just tighten all these um, part way. But the thing is, I might not need this piece. It might be good because that piece wasn't the part that was leaking. So, oh, yeah, it's easy. Sure it is. So he had this caulking in here, he, the former owner, I don't know that that's, that isn't really necessary, and these little pieces, this, I don't know that I really need that. Do I? I don't know. Let's, they're suggesting one, okay. And now I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> well, there was only one of those little rubber things in there. So, let's see. And then I'm going to use this guy. This is made in China. My apologies to all of you in China. It's like, all right. Now the test is running some water. And 
Running some water and seeing. Feel anything? That's good. But the other thing I'm going to do now is. I'm going to actually maybe get a smaller bucket, but I'm going to clean out, put a dry bucket under here and keep the dry bucket there overnight and maybe for a day or two just to see if anything drips because this is where the drips were coming from before it was coming from right in here. Even though he had put all that caulk and stuff in there, um, that's where it was coming from. It wasn't coming from anywhere else. So that's why I didn't, I ended up not changing this one out because I don't have a problem with that one right now. So, <laughs> I did it myself. It was a little challenging, but I did it myself. Yay. So here's the smaller bucket that I'm just going to set under here for a couple days and double check that it stays dry. Okay, so that's the first thing. So after you unscrew it, it'll slide this way, okay, and it'll start dripping. And now we have to do 